That's how easy it is to take out a Volkswagen engine. Imagine how easy it is to service the rest of the car. This is air. Air is for breathing and for cooling car engines. Air won't freeze up. Air won't boil over. Ask any Volkswagen. You think that's a Volkswagen you're looking at? Well, it is, and it isn't. It's a Volkswagen we put together ourselves, from parts. you've been wondering about how many parts we carry, you can stop wondering. We carry all you need. When you try to close the door of a Volkswagen, it doesn't work. You have to push it closed. The Volkswagen is so airtight, it helps to open a window to close the door. They gave him this assignment. What changes would you recommend in the design of the Volkswagen? He studied it and studied it. Then he said, Ingrandire il finestrino di dietro. Make the rear window larger. Solamente questo. That's all. Solo questo. That's all. We did, starting with the 58. A Volkswagen is never changed to make it look different, only to make it work better. If you owned an eight-year-old Volkswagen and had it washed every now and then, an eight-year-old Volkswagen, except you. Ever wish you didn't have radiator problems? Ever wish you didn't have a radiator? Ever wish you could sail through mud or snow? Ever wish your car didn't guzzle so much gas? The Volkswagen has no radiator problems. In fact, no radiator. The Volkswagen engine is cooled by air. 
Can't freeze in winter or boil over in summer. The Volkswagen engine's in the rear. You go in mud or snow. The Volkswagen cuts most gas bills in half. Ever wish you owned a Volkswagen? A Volkswagen has a lot of things you can't get in other cars. Like an aluminum magnesium air-cooled engine in back. The most advanced service system in the world. Great resale value. And it costs less than $2,000. Maybe if it cost more, people wouldn't leave it out in the rain. Sedan 111 suggested retail price, POE, local taxes and other dealer charges, if any, additional. I, Max Felice, Navely, being of sound mind and body, do hereby bequeath the following. To my wife, Rose, who spent money like there was no tomorrow, I leave $100 and a calendar. To my sons, Rodney and Victor, who spent every dime I ever gave them on fancy cars and fast women, I leave $50 in dimes. To my business partner, Jules, whose only motto was spent, 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 I leave nothing, nothing, nothing. And to my other friends and relatives who also never learned the value of a dollar, I leave a dollar. Finally, to my nephew, Harold, who oft times said, a penny saved is a penny earned. And who also oft times said, gee, Uncle Max, it sure pays to own a Volkswagen. I leave my entire fortune of $100 billion. And now the star of the 1949 auto show. The car of the future. The car the public wants. The all-new Bisotto. The long skirt will be the next look on the fashion scene. The Studebaker will be the next look on the automotive scene. So the man to see if you're buying your next car for keeps is your nearby Packard dealer. The 49 has an the car. So Volkswagen will constantly be changing, improving, and refining this car. Not necessarily to keep in style with the times, but to make a better car. Which means to all of you... Of all the promises made at the 1949 Auto Show, we at Volkswagen kept ours. Volkswagen is one of the tallest cars in the world. So there's more than enough headroom. Even for the little woman. Remember running boards. Those were the days when a car was a car. Simple, so there was less to go wrong. And you knew what every button was for. Yes, sir, that was a machine you could understand. Things fit like they were supposed to. And solid, you know it. If you dented a mudguard, they call them fenders now. You didn't have to replace half the car. Repairs didn't cost an arm and a leg either. And you could tune the engine with a screwdriver instead of a committee. They just don't make them like they used to. Except the Volkswagen.
Volkswagen does. Listen. Volkswagen Fender, like a rock. It's heavier than it really has to be. Volkswagen Door, solid. The car is so well made, it's practically airtight. Volkswagen Engine. Nothing's wrong. That's the way an air-cooled engine sounds. But it can't boil or freeze. Volkswagen Ashtray. No sound at all. That's how Volkswagen parts fit together. Volkswagen Horn. Because that's a Volkswagen Horn. Let's do it again. Listen. Solid. Airtight. Air-cooled. Well put together. Why not? So the next time you're looking for a car, make sure you listen to the car. And then decide what car to buy. If you have trouble telling one year Volkswagen from another, we offer yet another source of confusion. The new, improved, same old car with 13 invisible changes, the 1969 Bug. When seven foot, one inch Will Chamberlain tried to get in a Volkswagen, people said it couldn't be done. <clears throat> Oh, man. It couldn't. Of course, there's plenty of room for Bill Cunningham, but then he's only six foot six. Some Volkswagen drivers get a mere 26 miles a gallon, but most average closer to 30, and a few get even more than that. But you can always find somebody who's dissatisfied with the way a Volkswagen uses gas. Remember the 48 Volkswagen, the most advanced car of its time. But that didn't keep us from improving it. We took out our air-cooled engine and increased its power twice. Then we made a lot of little changes all over the body. Next, we took our transmission and added a fourth synchromesh gear to let you shift down from second to first more easily. We've made over 5,000 changes since 48, and these are the only parts that have not been altered. Which is why every new 1965 Volkswagen has four little old parts in it. No matter how hard we try, we can't find anything wrong with them. But don't worry. Some of our best people are working on it. Pop, how could Motley have stolen the Volkswagen? His arm and leg were in a cast. He couldn't shift gears, use the clutch pedal. That's right, Charlie. Number one son and honorable inspector, forget very important fact. Volkswagen in question, very easy to drive. I don't get you, Pop. Uh, let me explain. On night of crime, Motley steel Volkswagen with automatic stick shift transmission. Volkswagen with automatic stick shift have no clutch pedal. So Motley not need left leg. Volkswagen with automatic stick shift can be driven all over city without shifting. So Motley not need right arm. In conclusion, only thing evil man like Motley really need was far better alibi. As you remember last week, Gina Milano, our little shoemaker here, successfully answered all the questions in his chosen category, Cars. This week, he's back to tell us whether or not he'll step up to the big plateau. You know, what is your decision? I go. Okay, we go. Gino Milano, all right. Here is a brand new 
1968 Volkswagen. How many changes can you find? You have 10 seconds. <laughs> changes are there? None. Volkswagen's never changed. <laughs> Poor Gino. He was done in by the 1968 Volkswagen and the 36 nice little changes that made this short program possible. If you've never bought a Volkswagen because it wasn't big enough, okay. Here's a Volkswagen that's big enough. The new VW Fastback Sedan. It seats four, with more room for elbows and legs. It's pretty jazzy, too. Has an electric clock and even wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. The Fastback also has the most powerful engine we've ever made. It's air-cooled. Goes 27 miles on a gallon of gas, which is pretty good for a car that can go 84 miles per hour. Since we made a VW that's a little roomier in the inside, we decided to do the same thing on the outside. It's got a trunk up front where most cars have their motors. And in the back, where most cars have their trunks, we have a... <laughs> a trunk. A large trunk. Volkswagen gets great gas mileage. But what about a Volkswagen with an automatic stick shift? Crazy. Four, three, two, one. On October 23rd, 1970, when Gary Gablich broke the world land speed record by going 622 miles per hour, he was glad he had a car he could depend on. That evening when he went home, felt the same way. They finally made a car big enough for Durante. You know, folks, when you're built like me, you can't get just any old new car. You gotta get one with all kinds of extra room, especially extra breathing room for the old snuzzle uh, Plenty of headroom and lots of legroom. This car also has big bucket seats. And folks, when I say that this car is big enough for Durante, that also means it's big enough for a little companionship. Good night, folks. Ink. Hot ink. Introducing the 1973 Super Beetle. It's so big and comfortable inside, you won't know it's a Volkswagen until you're outside. Ink. Do. 
If you open the door of this big new 1973 car, you won't find anything really new. You'll find big contoured bucket seats, but that's not new. You'll find a big padded sculptured dash, a sporty steering wheel, but you've seen all this before. And every big car comes with a big curved windshield these days. It gives you a great view of the world, but it's not new. Plenty of legroom, nice but not new. And there's nothing new about finding all these big things under one big roof. What is new is finding all these big things under one little roof. Introducing the 73 Super Beetle. It's so completely changed and comfortable inside, you won't know it's a Volkswagen until you're outside. Try looking at a Volkswagen this way. It's the only small car with a sealed steel bottom that leaves nothing exposed beneath it. And the VW is built to take a little punishment. As small as the VW is, it's covered with 13 pounds of paint, outside and in, even in places you can't see, but which corrosion can find. In fact, the VW is so well put together, it's practically airtight. What other car gives you this kind of quality at this kind of price? At Volkswagen, we don't worry about how our car looks. We worry about how it works. So every day for the past 25 years, we've been testing and torturing things like door hinges and hood locks, seats and shock absorbers. No other car goes through so much or so little. Gee, baby. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm from Volkswagen, and I've got a music problem. Hi, Ronnie. I'm Johnny. You got a problem? We got a song. Well, uh, we're very excited about the 29 improvements in our 1972 Super Beetle. Ah. Uh, I thought perhaps a theme song. We did car gigs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, improvement number one: the compression ratio has been optimized through dish pistons. Dish pistons optimized compression ratio. Oh yes, sign up. Oh. Anything else? Improvement number two, uh, increased air inlet groupings. Number 18, an advanced manifold preheating system. Finally, improvement number 29, floating bearings for most mounting points. Gentlemen, the most improved Volkswagen ever. Kid, 5,000 canaries whistling the bluebird of happiness at the Hollywood Bowl couldn't help you. This is a dramatization of a true story. On November 28, 1970, a storm developed in the Sierra Nevada mountains that was termed the worst ever. Six months later, when emergency crews were finally able to clear the roads, something strange happened. A car was found. A Volkswagen buried beneath tons of snow and ice. But even stranger than that, when the crew supervisor turned the ignition key. The 1974 Volkswagen, covered by VW owner's security blanket. I didn't know what I had. She was dependable, reliable, not very glamorous, though. That's why I left, for beauty. But underneath that beauty. So I came running back. And I'll never leave again. Another person who found out that inner goodness is far more important than outward appearance.
If you're starting out to see the USA, you may not get very far because there's a serious gasoline shortage. Quite a few gas stations have closed, and a lot that are open don't have a lot of gas. So if you have a big car, you may have a big problem. But if you have a Volkswagen, which gets about twice the gas mileage as the average car, you can leave your problem behind. Hello, I'm Buzz Aldrin. Three years ago, when I walked on the moon, our mission relied on a highly technical computer checkout system. This told Mission Control and us exactly what was right or wrong in our space vehicle. I've been asked my opinion of a similar system built into another vehicle here on Earth. Built into every 1972 Volkswagen is a network of sensors leading to one central socket. This is plugged into a computer. They tell me this computer will be at Volkswagen dealers soon. It will report the condition of your car directly to you. 60 vital service points are checked and printed out in plain English for you to read. This printout sheet just told me that the battery in that Volkswagen needs water. I'm impressed. thousands of improvements we've made in our car. Every last part has been changed or improved. Some have even been changed again and improved again. They're as close to perfect as we can make them, but we're hard to satisfy. So our latest improvement is an improvement that keeps the other improvements working right. Every 72 Volkswagen has a built-in service system that attaches to a computer that writes out on paper 60 test results that tell you how your car is doing. The computers will be ready starting later this year. Every 72 Volkswagen is ready now. Zsa, Zsa talks about a new luxury car. Darling, I love this seat with corduroy and the sunroof and the metallic paint. I love it. <laughs> And mother loves getting 30 miles per gallon on the highway. She's right. With daughters like mine, you learn the value of a dollar. Presenting La Grande Bug, a new limited edition Volkswagen. wondered how the man who drives a snowplow drives to the snowplow. This one drives a Volkswagen. So you can stop wondering. 